Oh, yeah. Welcome back to KPRC 2 Plus. We know navigating your health care can be confusing. Indeed, and joining us this morning to discuss the complexities of prescription drug coverage and how to navigate a coverage gap is Dr. Daniel Zlot, pharmacist and senior vice president at the American Pharmacists Association. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Owen Lisa. Thank you for having me with you. Thanks for being here. So what role do you play in, in educating patients and caregivers about these complexities of prescription drug coverage plans? Well, I like to think of it this way. When it comes to getting the most out of your medications, your pharmacist is your best friend. So as a pharmacist, I help patients understand how to take their medications appropriately, uh, what to expect while taking their medications, uh, as well as helping them navigate the complexities of prescription drug coverage. And for patients who need some assistance affording their medications, that's also an important role that I play. Dr. Zlot, tell us about some of the obstacles our nation's seniors face when it comes to managing their health, especially when the cost of prescription medication increases unexpectedly, unexpectedly rather, due to a coverage gap. Yeah, this is a wonderful question. I think, let's just call it what it is. Insurance coverage and prescription drug coverage is complex and confusing many times. And so uh, one of the most important things that I do as a pharmacist is help patients understand this coverage gap. So a coverage gap is when uh, someone hits the maximum amount that their insurance will pay for prescription drugs during a given year. And that can result in sometimes sudden and unexpected increases in out-of-pocket costs for patients when they go to pick up their prescriptions at the pharmacy counter. And sometimes that can result in patients having a difficult time affording their medications. So helping patients navigate that is one of the most important things that I do. So what kind of options do people have? I mean, obviously every case is different, but generally speaking. Yeah, you know, I think you hit the nail on the head. Every case is different. So one of the best things you can do, especially if you're having trouble affording your medications, is to talk to your pharmacist. One of my biggest concerns is that my patients won't take their medications appropriately. They're trying to maybe stretch their doses out a little bit to save some money. And prescriptions work best when you take them exact, exactly as prescribed. And so... Um, since each patient situation is different, talking with your pharmacist will help them get you tailored help that can help you um, with your specific circumstance. Dr. Zlot, uh, it's wonderful information here, so important. Where can folks watching right now go for more information? Absolutely. So again, talk to your pharmacist. That's going to be your best first stop. Okay. And so I like to use an example of patients who are taking blood thinners. Um, one of the best things that they can do in addition to talking to their pharmacist, if you find yourself in one of these coverage gaps, there's a great new resource that's become available called feelingwhen.com. Wonderful resource to check out if you're in a coverage gap and you're having trouble affording your medication. Uh, and then again, check in with your pharmacist. They're going to be your best bet to help you find options to help lower your out-of-pocket costs for prescription medications. Dr. Daniel Zlot, pharmacist and senior vice president of the American Pharmacists Association. Thanks so much for your time and your insight today. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Great to be with you.